What's up, YouTube? So today I'm going to be recalibrating my PH60 Opera PH pen. I believe this method works on all Opera pens, but you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Uh, every model that I've used, this, this works for. So to start off, we're going to be filling up the vials that come with the solution kit. Uh, I got the pH pen and solution kit combo, so it should come with vials for you, as well as 4.0, 7.0, and 10.01 pH solutions. If you just got the pH pen, you're probably going to need to buy extra solution in order to do this. Now this is something that I like to do roughly once a month, so every 30 days or so, I like to recalibrate the pH pen just to make sure it's reading correctly. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to turn the pH pen on and hold the cow button. It's the very bottom button. It's going to ask for 7.0. As you can see, it's flashing underneath where you'd normally see the pH number. So we're going to put the probe in the 7.0 vial. You can move it around a bit, dunk it, uh, you know, just, just be gentle. Now when the number stops flashing and you see the little smiley face on the bottom left underneath the calibration number, uh, what you want to do is you want to hold the cow button again and then that'll be calibrated for the 7.0. Uh, as soon as you've done that, you want to hold the cow button a second time and it'll start asking for 4.0, 10.01, uh, etc. So we're just going to worry about those two. We're going to start with the 4.0 solution. We're going to do the same thing. Slowly twirl it in the solution, dunk it. Uh, it is a plastic vial, so it shouldn't damage the glass probe, but you'd still want to be careful. And what we're looking for here is for that 4.0 to balance out where the numbers were shuffling between 4.0, 10.01. As you can see here, it's held at 4.0, so it realizes that that's what you're calibrating. So as soon as the pH number stops fluctuating, what you want to do when you're ready is hold that cow button again. It'll flash a few times, and now the 4.0 is calibrated as well. Now we're two-thirds of the way done. We're going to do the 10.01, it's the same method, hold the cow button. Now as you can tell, it's only giving you two options because it's already calibrated 4.0 and 7.0. So one of your options is the 10.01, and we're going to do the same exact thing. I just dunk it, swirl it around, let that 10.01 solution soak into the probe so we can read it. And again, we're waiting for the pen to realize that we're trying to calibrate it to 10.01. As you can see right there, it stopped fluctuating. and It's holding on 10.01 on the bottom. So it realizes that that's what we want to calibrate it to. Now, as soon as that top number has stabilized and stops fluctuating again we're gonna hold the cow button just for a second or two and it's calibrated now you can see it's reading 10.01 so the pH pen was was really reading pretty accurate but it's still good to recalibrate it every once in a while just to be safe the last thing you want to run into in the middle of a grow is pH issues. It's an absolute nightmare to deal with. Now the final step, if you don't plan on using the pH pen right away, uh, or if you do and when you're done using it, it's always good to fill the cap that the pH pen comes with. And I'm showing there with the storage solution. Uh, you really don't want that probe to dry out completely. 
So you want to check the fill line, make sure there's some solution in there, and then put the cap on the pen. Uh, don't be worried if you see like crystals forming where the cap is. That's just what happens with the solution. Now that you've calibrated your Apera PH60 pen, it should be accurate for at least the next 30 days. If you guys found this video helpful in any way, I would really appreciate it if you'd like and consider subscribing to the channel. It would help me out tremendously. Thank you for watching.